Hey everybody and welcome back. So today what are we looking at? This is the um, Spectrum DX20. Um, unfortunately we haven't been able to get our hands on this baby at the moment. Um, but if we do we'll certainly do a video review of it. Um, so this is due out late September this year, 2016, um, and it's around $1,300, however much that is in GBP, I don't know, um, but it certainly looks a nice piece of kit, that's for sure. Um, with the features, um, so you've got a carbon fiber front case um, that you can see here and I can tell you it looks well lush. Um, the, um, the gimbals, they're machined aluminium, um, so it gives you a bit more bit more control over the sticks and apparently they're a lot smoother the control is a lot smoother um, as I say this is a 20 just 20 fully proportional channels on this beast and 250 model memories now if you've got that many uh, models and uh, well done you um, I've only got about two or three um, the um, the box, the contents you get with this is actually the transmitter, a 4000 mAh LiPo battery, um, a power supply obviously, the manual, a neck strap and a decal sheet. So we'll have to, we'll have to, if we get one of them we'll have to see what's on what the decal sheet contains. Um, Anyway, back to the controller itself. Um, it's obviously 2.4 gigahertz. Um, features for planes, sailplanes, helicopters, and of course, multi rotors. Um, the um, the uh, from what I understand, it includes the AR9020 receiver with X Plus technology. Now, the X Plus technology. Um, is an addition to the uh, receiver um, which means you can add up to eight extra channels um, with the X Plus channel expansion module um, and the extra channels can be assigned to any function you want so you well you know why how would you use all those channels? I'm sure some of you out there would be able to. Um, anyway, onwards and upwards. The, as you can see on here, this has got a, a lovely display on it. Um, the, the, the it, there's shed loads of models you can put on there. Um, the menu language, there's five menu languages, which is English. German, French, Italian, and Spanish. The it does include the 90209 channel DSMX receiver, and the LCD. The screen there is backlit, so it'll always be uh, you'll always have full control. I do believe actually there is a voice function. So I'm guessing if you've got your um, if you if you fly FPV. Um, like most, probably most controllers these days, it will tell you how long you got, if there's any problems and, and whatever. Um, I use a Futaba transmitter of mine. Um, but yeah, this is a, a lovely piece of kit from what I can see. Um, let's just check out. So on the back here you have the headphones um, 
there's two uh, knobs that you can use I guess for say like a camera gimbal um, or rudders or wh whatever else you need to be controlling at the time the um, Um, this one here is the trainer port. Then you've got your um, audio jack there. And the one in the middle is the charging jack. Um, the two, as I say, the two levers, this one here and this one here, can control pretty much whatever you want it to control. Uh, the these pieces here, um, the hand pieces, they're actually made out of leather, so it's a little bit different um, to your normal plastic. You can see here it comes right the way around the front here. Um, so I'm guessing it's uh, a nice, gives it a nice feel. Uh, so you've got plenty of switches on here, um, and obviously a, lot, a couple of trims. The um, on-off switch there in the centre, and this is where your neck piece connects to. You've got your thumb wheel, which goes through the menu, and your up and down menu buttons, again, which will take you through uh, the menu systems for like, your elevator, your throttle, um, and so on and so forth. So let's go on to the next image. Oh, you can see yeah, more more switches and the the handle. Um, in the olden days, I say the olden days. In my days, the handles are always up here, but that was on like uh, 27 meg, whatever it was back then. Um, nowadays, they make them more sleek more sleek design more up to date and you've got your stubby 2.4 aerial there um, you can see the nice carbon effect carbon upper piece and the lever a bit clearer in this image uh, and here we've got a better picture of the front there you've obviously got your speaker there you can see here the aluminium let me look at it, it looks well lush. That's gonna be if you if you get one of these you are gonna be people are just gonna love you and wanna have a go, I'll tell you that now. Just look at it. It's a piece of work that is, it's a piece of art. Got all your trims there there. Here, your on off button, switches galore. You just won't know what to do with them or tell you. It's just amazing piece of kit that is. Obviously you've got an SD SD card. Um, yeah, there's so much so much going on. I think I need a degree to uh, to even just go through the manual. Anyway, that is the Spectrum DX20. As I say, it is due out in um, September. I believe late, so it'll be more towards the end of September. Um, oh, it's got a wireless trainer link, apparently. That's pretty good. Voice alerts. Yeah, I did. So I said about voice alerts. Um, oh, apparently the um, the leather grips here uh, are interchangeable, so I presume you can get different colours. So anyway, don't forget to like the video, give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video. I will be in contact with 
um, Spectrum to see if we can get a demo version because uh, this will be pretty pretty cool. Take it easy for now. See you next time.